Right. Good morning, everybody. Good Saturday morning. All right, today I'm going to tear apart this fridge. I'm going to show you what's inside a fridge. We're going to have a look, see what's in here, what's the value, what can be scrapped. You know, let you guys make a decision. Is it worth tearing apart? You know, is all the work worth the money? We're going to have a look. Now, this is a standard, your standard refrigerator. It's not a very big one. Uh, it's a hot point model. Uh, I suggest with everybody, the first thing you do is have a look at it, okay? Check it out. As you see, this one's old. It ain't too terribly smelly. Got some juice in the bottom. But eyeball everything, you know? Look at it. See what kind of screws are holding the stuff in, in together inside of it. You know, I got a lot of Phillips. I see some quarter inch sockets or quarter inch bolts, screws. Uh, you know, I have a look to see what's in it. Make sure it ain't got no food or nastiness in it. Now, a lot of times on these fridges, these doors, these shelves on the side of the door, this bracket that's across here, a lot of times these are aluminum. So you need to check them. Get your magnet and check it. You know, if they're aluminum, just pop them off. You know, this one that happens to be plastic. You know, let's have a look. Make sure there's nothing hidden inside for us. Got some nastiness. Got a little bit of foul odor out of this one. But again, check them shelves. These are all plastic. So, already losing money. Next thing, the best thing to do is, after you look it over and see what you're going to need, get all your stuff together. You know, got my little screw tray sorted tools stuff that I normally use all right so let's get started first thing we need to do is light a cigarette for those of you who smoke for those of you who don't don't light a cigarette all right <clears throat> now generally I start with the evaporator on a refrigerator, the evaporator is always located in the freezer. Uh, even if it's a side by side, it's still located in the freezer, generally at the back wall. Every once in a while, you'll find one where it's actually underneath this panel. If you guys can see where I'm pointing, this panel. And a lot of times I'll use a sawzall to cut it out. But this one's at the back, I believe. We're gonna find out. So we need to access that panel. Now, first thing, we're gonna get the shelf out of the way. You see these shelves kind of put into holes on the sides. A lot of times, lift them up, push them to one side, and it'll come out the other side. And then pull it out, throw it off to the side, and we're gonna pull this panel out. That's what we want. This one's got a nice maker, so we're gonna take that out. Looks like it's got two quarter inch screws in it. Trusty screw gun. You can pick up a screw gun cheap. Harbor Freight, this thing was $20. Well worth the money. Plug it. Now, on these uh, ice makers. Now, you can tear this down completely. Uh, in my scrap yard, the ice maker goes as die cast. The element on the bottom of it is generally, if you guys can see it, let me hold it where you can see it. Like I say, the ice maker is generally die cast aluminum, die cast pot metal, what have you. That pays like 10 cents where I go. Uh, the, yeah, the element, the cooling element is stainless steel. You can pull that out and throw it in your stainless steel pile. There is an electric motor in here. We're just gonna throw it off to the side right now. I got me a bucket here. I'm going to throw all my goodies in and then we'll go over everything. All right, we got that out of the way. Now we got to pull that back panel off. Need my Phillips. I'm hoping you guys can actually see something. I 
generally hang on to my screws because number one, I don't want them in the tire of my truck. Number two, they're made of metal. I scrap them when I get enough of them together. All right, we're gonna grab this panel, give it the old rip. Looks like we got two more quarter inch behind it. Tell you what, these panels are generally metal. Uh, where's my magnet? But take your magnet and check them because every once in a while these things are aluminum. This one is just steel, tin shred. Goes in with the tin shred. Styrofoam goes into the garbage. All right, now there it is. This is the evaporator core. Now, take the time to eyeball it because this one actually is falling kind of out, but there are two screws that are normally holding it. This one is not on this side, this one is. Now, you can do the Incredible Hulk thing, grab it and rip. I suggest just taking the screws out. I find it makes things much easier. This is where the gloves come in handy because sometimes these evaporators can get you. This one's got the little spiny fins on it, but some of them have just sheet metal fins and it can be sharp. You know, grab it, give it a pull. Pull it out here where you can get to it. element for the defrost which I'm not going to worry about that right now get it out of my way all right generally what I do is cut the wires everything attached to the evaporator get up here you're gonna see the two lines going into the evaporator. All right, so we're gonna cut this evaporator out. Try to cut it as close as you can where the copper and the aluminum meet because copper is more money than aluminum. So you want more copper than you can, as much copper as you can get. Give it a clip. Same thing with the other line. Get it close. That's why I keep the old side cutters. Okay. There is the evaporator. I am going to pull this heating element out. This is the element for the defrost. Throw it in your scrap bucket. Do whatever you want with it. I'm throwing it in the garbage. I believe actually the element is stainless steel. It's this little stainless steel spring. But that is the evaporator core. It is aluminum. We're going to go through it here in a little bit and make sure it's all clean aluminum. A lot of this wire, little steel pieces. Well, I guess I'm going to go through it now. You just want to look it over and make sure it's all clean aluminum. I need to check these. I think these are aluminum actually too, the way they're bending. But that's all clean sheet aluminum. Let me check these little pieces. Yep, it's all aluminum. Goes in with my sheet bucket. All right, so what are we left with here? We're left with a bunch of wire. All right. 
clip the wires as close as you can get them. I'm trying to get as much as we can. Got the fan blade, the little fan blower back here. I try to get the blade off. Ugh. Generally, it just pop right off. Clip everything. Now I want the fan motor. Uh, the quarter. No, they're going to be eight. So, oh, to the tool barn. Eight millimeter. And let's pull the fan off. There we go. Little fan motor. Into the bucket of stuff. All right. Now we're going to take all of our wire out of here. Which this has all got to be gone through and clipped all the little metal pieces and plastic ends and all that's got to come off. We're just going to throw it in the bucket. Now, what we're left with is our two copper lines. Alright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clip these as close up as I can. Try to get as much of it as I can. <laughs> Which, of course, you guys ain't seen none of this. I'm actually grabbing it and trying to pull it through some. Okay, cut it off. Copper. That's what we want. Lots of copper. Some nastiness on there. But I'm going to just throw it in the bucket. All right. Now, a lot of times, the little metal plate back here that the evaporator sits on in is aluminum. Okay. So I'm pretty sure that one is. Take the magnet. Check it out. It's aluminum. So... Into the bucket. All right, so that's it for the freezer. So I'm going to take and shove these metal pieces back in. It's all going to the scrapyard, and it goes. All right, now the fridge. Oh, the fridge. Now, there isn't a whole lot in the fridge. I'm going to take these gloves off so I can maneuver the camera. Let me take you guys free so you can see what I'm talking about. All right. But underneath, some of them are a little different. But on this model, see it's got the controls up here or just underneath the freezer where the light bulb and everything is. Now, pull this shelf out, out of the way, and what do we got? A couple Phillips screws, I'm going to take that bulb out, you know, you can save these bulbs if they're good. This one is not any good, I don't think. You guys can't see it, but I can tap it and see the filament bouncing around in there. But you can save them, reuse them. Save you a dollar at the store. All right, but well we're going to take this down to get the electrical out of it. More wire, more money. All right. So I'm going to put you guys back in the mount where you're not going to be able to see anything.
You know, the problem with a chest mount is you only get to see forward. Let's see if I can get you leaned up a little bit. just fell apart but there's the wiring all right all that copper wire we can clip all that out of there you know Let's get down where you can guys can see but yeah clip all of this copper wire out I'm just going to throw it in my tub here. Because like I say, i got to go over it all and make sure it's all clean. There ain't no ends or anything like that on it. Temperature control. Believe it or not, it's like a little electric motor. I usually bust these up with a hammer and pull the, uh, what's it called, pull the copper out of them. So that's going to go in the bucket. Now, this is the thermostat switch. I don't mess with them. It's just, I don't know. It ain't worth it. There ain't nothing in them, really. Even the line here that goes off of it ain't even copper. So basically this, back in the fridge. And I'm going to cut this wire that's hanging from the top. little pigtail that hangs from the top and I'm gonna throw that in the bucket now I'm gonna put the shelf back in and that's it that's done we're done with the inside now we're gonna go to the bottom so I'm gonna knock this thing over all right, so let me get this thing set up. All right, we got it knocked over on its side. Got an old metal milk crate shoved underneath it so we can access the bottom. Now, the reason we want to get to the bottom is, as you see, this is the compressor. We also got some copper plumbing down here, wire, all the goodies. So what I normally do is I drop the bottom of the refrigerator off. Generally, you got a, a bracket, got a few bolts in it, and the whole thing comes out. You just gotta look, you know, you can basically figure it out. It ain't rocket science uh, on what you have to take out. You know, the condenser for the fridge is on the bottom, which is the little plate here. A lot of times you'll see these on the older models, they'll be on the back of the fridge, or sometimes they'll be across here, you know. And the problem with the refrigerator is the condenser is always steel. See the magnet? So it's just tin shred. Nothing of super value. So let's get this thing apart. Get the old screw gun. And just take it apart. You notice I haven't cut anything yet. That's just how I do it. Pull all this stuff out of the way. Anything that I think is gonna hang up. Give it a grab and just kind of give it a pull. Let it fall off to the side there. Then I do my clipping. As you see it's just hanging there off the copper lines and the wires. Now I'm going to get my clippers and clip everything off the refrigerator. 
start down here. Cutting all my wires. Runaway wire. All right, so now it's basically hanging off the lines. Now, I'm gonna try to clip these lines as close as possible. I'm actually gonna grab them with the tip of my cutters. And see if I can't pull it out a little more. And expose as much as possible. Clip them off. And voila. All right, everything, I'm just throwing right in the bucket. Because everything's got to be gone through and made sure it's clean. All right, so what do we got here? Basically, we got the guts of the fridge. All right. Now, take my wire clippers. I'm gonna start out by cutting all my wires off. There's all my wire into the bucket. Now, this thing, you're not going to find this on every fridge. But with the ones with the water maker, or yeah, water maker, the ice maker, this is basically a water valve. Okay? Looks like Rat's been chewing on this one. Uh, but. This item right here, if you guys can see, it's red, sort of a, yeah, well, we're red, whatever. This is actually full of copper. It's a magnetic switch, okay? It's a solenoid, basically. Now, you can take these and cut them open with your die grinder and get the copper winding out of it. You can choose not to. We're gonna throw it in the bucket because on days when I ain't got nothing else to do, I do, I cut these open. Get the copper out. It's more money. Into the bucket. All right. Let's see. Back to this mess. All right. What do we got? We got the fan for the condenser. Take the garbage. Now I want that fan motor. Okay. There's nice copper in that fan motor. So first thing we're going to do is try to get this fan blade. You know, you guys can choose whether or not you want to strip your fans for the copper or if you want to sell the, the motors as just clean motors. That's up to you. A lot of times, I cut them apart. Uh, let me see. And that's tin shred. It's gonna go off into the tin shred. 
back into the refrigerator when we're all done. All right, there's the motor. I'm gonna take this other screw out. Just so it is a clean motor. Like I say, my scrap yard, they're pretty uh, intent on whether it's clean or it's dirty. So now this is copper all under here. Take a screwdriver. If you guys can see that. The light ain't too shiny. But yep, it's all copper wire under there. It takes nothing to take that out. You can either cut it with some side cutters and pull it out, take a die grinder and cut on it and pull it out. It's generally easy comes out. But even if you don't do that, it's still a clean motor the way it is. Throw it in the bucket. You guys, you know, do that at your leisure. All right, I keep going to the fridge. All right, now we're going to strip all the copper off here. Now, where is my magnet? All right, let's see. Now, you'll see where the lines come off the compressor. All right, the compressors... The body of the compressor is generally steel. It's just steel. It's nothing to worry about. But where these lines come off, you can generally see where the two fittings come together, where the joint comes together, where the copper tubing goes into the compressor. You'll see the fitting sticking out. Now you need to take a magnet and check these. You know, 90%, they're copper all the way to the compressor. Okay, but every once in a while, some of these little fittings, a little stick out points are steel so you want to cut them where the steel meets the copper always you want only the copper okay luckily these are copper all the way out so we're going to cut them up as close to the compressor as i can take them copper lines Cut off the compressor now you can see here where this copper line goes to the condenser now like I said the condenser is just steel so take your magnet and run it up and down the line you'll feel where the copper and the steel meet you want the copper you don't want them going through your stuff with a magnet and say hey you're trying to sell me steel as copper so use your magnet and find out where they come together cut it off there a lot of time the steel line will run up into the copper so cut it off to where you only got copper and on the other side of the condenser is the same thing take your magnet run it up find where the two meet and cut it off Okay. Now we got our copper plumbing, all our copper tubing off. That, throw it in the bucket. You know, I'll go through the bucket later and pull everything out, clean everything up, make sure it goes where it needs to go. All right, now we're going to pull the compressor. Now this compressor actually uses clips. You guys can see that, these little metal clips to hold it on. Ain't no big deal. A lot of times it'll have bolts or screws or what have you. These little clips are pretty self-explanatory. You just pop them off. I use my side cutters, grab them, pop them off. Because at my scrap yard, they pay 10 cents a pound for the compressor. Because inside the compressor is an electric motor. Now, you can cut this open and pull it out yourself. That's great. 
if that's what you want to do. I just sell the whole thing. Because I'll tell you what, these compressors are heavy. Throw it off the side there with my other ones. Metal clips. I don't believe I don't have a garbage bucket. But here's one. Scrap bucket. And that's it. Now we're left with this frame and the condenser. Now, this just goes into the tin shred. Now that's basically it. Everything off of the refrigerator. Now I'm left with a carcass. All right. The only other thing that you can do is where you cut these copper lines off is you can take a die grinder and try cutting up here, up the side of the fridge, up to where the freezer point is, where it goes into the freezer, and try pulling the lines out. Now, I'm gonna give it a whirl. So give me a minute, let me get my, yeah, my grinder set up. All right, guys, I got it set up. I started cutting, cut a little V there so I can get to the lines, started cutting up, which cuts pretty fairly easy. Hold your ears. We got that cut up. Grab pull that back. Pull the lines. Oh. As you see, this can be messy. And let me pull it through. It's all right. We're just gonna cut it off there then. More copper line. Minus the foam. All right, I'll show you the way I take the foam off of these. It's fairly easy. But right now, I'm just gonna throw it over here in the bucket and get these other lines out. All right, guys. So we are done with the carcass of the fridge. Now, the fridge, it all goes as tin shred. Usually what I'll do is load it up in my truck with the doors up. And I'll take what other odds and ends that I have laying around, pieces of other things, and I'll dump in it, the bottom of the fridge, whatever their odds and ends I have, because I'm dealing with a small truck, so basically I put the fridge in there and it, it's it. Okay, so what do we end up with? All right, well, we got some sheet aluminum, we got pretty good amount of copper tubing wanted to show you guys cleaning this copper tubing that has the foam all over it take this scouring pan and just take it and clean it and
and as you see it cleans up it ain't that big of a deal so end up with nice clean copper tubing what we got here though got a handful of wire needs to be cleaned up clip the ends and everything off no big deal got us a couple electric motors well, I got three motors there I gotta go through those because my scrapyard won't buy these ones that are plastic so I gotta take them apart which ain't no big deal whack it with a hammer you know they'll take one like this because it ain't got the plastic all over it but they won't take the plastic ones I gotta crack them open and do something with them they don't want the plastic but like I say good hammer whack dealt with all right let's see this is the ice maker now I done popped the back of it off oh, I got that fan blowing right in my face all right I done popped the back of it off it's really simple just prize right off there's one screw under here I just popped it a couple screws what we got we got a circuit board which we'll snip that off because my scrapyard does buy the circuit boards they only pay 10 cents a pound for them no matter what they are but you know you throw them in a five gallon bucket or a rubber tub and they add up now this board's got a little uh, transformer on it which I will take that transformer off because like I say, my scrapyard will buy transformers as electric motors. So that will go in with my electric motor, my clean electric motors. And the circuit board will go into a bucket with circuit boards. All right. Now what we got here. All right. This is the motor that turns this little crank here, which shoots the ice cubes out. I done took the screws out of it. Uh, this one actually has a really nice clean copper plate in it so that is nice clean copper and then there's the motor here Got a couple other little plates on it I'm not sure if those are aluminum or not I don't think they are yep, sure enough actually they are aluminum so those will go into my sheet aluminum bucket and I'll clip the wires off the motor Pull it apart. Is that aluminum? Yes, that's aluminum. The casing's aluminum. Break this sucker apart. If I can get a hold of it in there. Of course, it's not going to want to come apart for me. You know, whenever you're trying to do something on camera, it never works out exactly how you want it to. There it goes. But that is a nice copper wind right there. I just got to cut it open and take the copper out. You guys can see that orange color in there. Um, let's see. The rest of this, a lot of this plastic just pops off. There are usually two screws back here, which I've got out. Pull the ice tray, cut the wires. Now this, this is die cast. Or at least that's what my yard pays it as, okay? But even to get clean die cast, you got to take the element out, okay? Which generally, you can get underneath it with a screwdriver and pop it out. It's just kind of pressed in there. OK, 
Okay, that will go into my die cast bucket. And as for the rest of this here, basically all we got left is wire. Lots of copper wire. And we'll clean all that up. Get it clipped out of there. Of course, these side cutters don't work real well. Because these are the ones I use to cut anything and everything. So you can cut this off. And the plug in. No, I'm just going to send that the way it is because it's insulated copper wire. That's what they want to buy, that's what they get. All right, let me finish clipping all this up and I'll show you guys that water valve. All right guys, this is that water valve that's for the ice maker. This is the, actually turns on and off and allows water to go up to the ice maker to fill it up. Um, like I was saying before, this red part here has actually got a copper wine in it. It's just basically a magnetic relay, you know? So. What I've already done, I've already taken my grinder and cut the metal stripping here and on this side. And I'll take my screwdriver and pry that off. This, I'll probably just cut the tube off and it'll go into my tin shred. The tube will go in the garbage. Now we're left with this thing which the insert should just pull right out. Okay, and just like that little motor, this thing is full of copper. It's full of copper winding. Now, a lot of times they are a pain in the butt to get out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a hold of it here with my channel locks. Okay, and got a hold of it. I'm gonna take my grinder with a cutoff wheel. Everybody hold your ears. Split it. Take my screwdriver here and see if I can't get it to open up. Of course, it's not going to cooperate. Like I say, you don't have to do this. I mean, this ain't like a how-to. This is just curiosity to see what's inside the fridge. For all you guys out there that don't do the scrapping, but love to watch and just curious, like I say, I'm sure all my fellow scrappers out there have tore apart their fair share of refrigerators. And if you're wondering if this is a lot of work for a little bit of copper, yes it is. Normally I don't do this. You know, you see a lot of guys that'll take stuff like this and, oh, whack it with a hammer. Well, this is a hard plastic and it does not whack very well. Of course, I'm gonna mutilate this trying to get it apart. Well, tell you what, I'm going to split it from the other end. Everybody hold your ears. Ooh. 
hot hot melted plastic <laughs> that's why you should wear your gloves Charles yes it is Now you guys see the copper. I love the copper. And we just peel it out of there. Now remember, you're trying to get as much of the plastic as humanly possible. You know, no scrap yards. They see plastic in your uh, in your copper and. Well, that's not clean copper. It's good enough. So, there's a little ball of copper out of that. Alright. Well, I think that's going to do it for my purposes. Now I'm going to throw all this stuff in here. Like I say, I'll go through it, clean it, Make sure all my wire ends are clipped and clean all the copper with my scratch pad. And get everything separated where it needs to go. And that's going to do it. This will get loaded up. Go as tin shred. And I hope it solved any questions about anybody out there that wants to know what's inside a fridge. What's worth stripping out. So that's going to do it. All right, guys. Until next time.